All right, so uh, we're back to here. And uh, it took me about, uh, f like, I would say three and a half to at most four hours to polish the whole car. We did some spots. I even, even did uh, this side of the hood for a little bit just to see with uh, extra speed a little bit, just, I, just by a notch or something. Uh, didn't do anything, so that means those micro scratches are still there, unfortunately. But like I said, all those um, water spot etchings and stuff like that are mostly off, if not everything is off. So that is a plus for me, honestly. And I can live with the, the scratches um, at this point because... Well, I mean, even if I do get the scratches out, um, that would mean I have to take off um, a portion of the clear coat for one thing, because you have to level out pretty much everything. <laughs> and and two, it's a daily driver, so it's bound to get hit by something, right? So it is what it is. Um, it is unfortunate, though, I do have that much micro scratching in one year because of my carelessness with, like I said, the uh, car cover and everything. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I just really want to uh, clarify that. Um, you know, if anyone says it's, oh, it's the rinse is washing or whatever, that doesn't make sense because there is one side where there's like less micro scratching and then on one other side has, or some areas do have a bit more. So it's like, you know, why would that be the case when I rinse this wash everywhere on the car and there is there are some areas that don't have scratching and yet you know even like the dirtiest parts quote unquote don't necessarily have that many scratches quote unquote um even like the bottom the door panel and everything you know and all that stuff so um but the other thing is that we got any sort of uh, swirl marks out that's good uh having to you know shine the light and everything um we got we got off, we, we got everything off what we can or what we could so at this point i am going to uh panel prep it or i'm just going to show the hood you know just just because just to going to keep things consistent and then um once we go there i'm going to uh hard cut right into the ceramic coating so uh, i do have it um on standby which is um this baby right here, which is the DIY's um, eight-year coating. I just couldn't resist and get the eight-year one instead of just like, what, the five-year and three-year. Uh, I potentially could have gotten the, um, the what you call the, now, yes, I could have gotten potentially the, um, <laughs> what you call the, the the stack right which is the three year i think and the um eight year um on the bottom of that potentially for the same price as this one alone because i bought this right before a sale unfortunately but it is what it is i still have a fantastic potentially uh uh ceramic coating you know waiting for me to uh be applied so from a, for my very first time so but First things first, we got a panel prepper just to make sure. So let's get the um, let's get this part panel prepped, and then everything else I'll do off the screen, and uh, we'll go from there. And ahead of time, I'm just gonna put on gloves already though, because um, you do have to have gloves on for ceramic coating anyway, so might as well have them on now. You just to kind of like get ahead, you know, while I can. Not that I. Not that it's necessary for uh, for panel prepping, but hey, might as well, right? And I'm using the panel prep from Gion, so you can kind of tell by the pink uh, liquid in, uh, inside. And it's pretty easy to use. Just spray it on the surface and wipe it off. So let me see, so it just says, oh, okay, over here. Yeah, it just says wipe with a microfiber towel. So nothing complicating at all. But yeah, um, just to kind of like talk about it as I do it. Um, it, the whole polishing thing was definitely a smooth experience overall. Uh, I don't think there was really like anything inherently wrong 
that happened. Um, I just thought, you know, it would like shake or whatever, or, you know, I'm going to hold it wrong or something like, <laughs> but, you know, um, it's, it does feel good to be able to do those things, right? Um, you know, having to watch all those videos and just kind of prepare yourself to do this yourself. And, um, things coming out better to be than expected is always a good feeling, at least so far anyway. <laughs> and, um, You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I am though mentally prepare myself to do the, um, the coding myself. So this will be my first time, like I said, if I haven't already. And, you know, it's been, uh, it's been an interesting journey so thus far. Getting to here at this point. You know, uh, it's just so funny of how it all started. I just basically bought a bottle of um, Turtle Wax ceramic spray coating thing. And um, I just watched like comparison videos and I just kind of fell into the rabbit hole from there. Like, oh yeah, rinse is washing. I'm like, what? I didn't know you could do like that. And um, it kind of just, uh, the rest of it's history, I guess, you know? Yeah, let me just uh, panel prep the bottom here. Even though I don't think I did the lip at all, but it's whatever at this point. I'm okay of how it looks. All right. Pretty peaceful process, you know, after all that... Um, polishing and everything, you know, the, all that noise and all that. And it's actually kind of fun to do. I, uh, I didn't think it would be that much fun <laughs> somehow, but here I am saying that stuff, you know, it's kind of strange almost. Strange feeling indeed, but I guess, you know, it kind of goes back to the whole, like, doing yourself and being able to do it, just like in the video or whatever. And, um, you know, it's, just, it's a pretty good feeling, I would say. Now, unfortunately, uh, I did try to polish the glass and um, none of the... Um, the water spots came off, you know, but from what I can understand, the uh, glass, or just glass in general, is harder to work with than with uh, paint. So, not thing new there. You know, it's not like my glass is hard to work with, that's just how all glass is. You know, but yeah, at this point, once I'm done with the ceramic coating, it feels like I just have to um, maintain it and I don't really have to buy anything else, <laughs> you know, after all that stuff, right? After all the things I bought, you know, it's, now it's definitely going to slow down quite a bit. And, and, and really at this point, I just kind of want to try like, oh, the latest rinse this wash or this latest product in a small bottle, you know, uh, hopefully. But something tells me I am going to buy um, <laughs> um, what you might call DIYs version two rinse this wash uh, by the gallon. <laughs> You know, 
it's kind of funny. Let me uh, just, I might as well put the camera up because we're done with the hood. So, um, so yeah. You can kind of see me, I can uh, see me do the process here, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna probably buy a different water spot remover, like a spray or something, like from either G Technic or maybe something else. Maybe DIY spot remover, uh, water spot remover. Either either one should be fine, right? So it shouldn't be too complicating. It's just water spot remover. But yeah, um, if anyone wants to bother answering any questions of mine, what is your favorite step in the car detailing uh, process? Like, is it like the actual washing? Do you like polishing better? Like ceramic coating? You know, there people have different favorites. Uh, but uh, although I do think likely it will be just like, I don't know, foam, uh, the, what do you call it, the foam blasting and stuff like that with the foam cannon. And um, I think, you know, I see the appeal. I definitely see why. I'm not going to blame anyone. For me, I think, I think I will say it is... Um, uh, the washing, right? The actual wash, the, you know, like, uh, I would say, I mean, it's, it's kind of, kind of hard to say, but I really do like rinses washing just because of how easy it is and stuff, the whole appeal of it and how effective it is. I don't know. It's uh, a little tricky because each of them have a satisfaction to it, right? Some level of satisfaction. You know, like it always has some sort of end result to it. Like, you know, when you're polishing, um, your surface will be shiny, right? Prepared that much more for um, for the wax or sealant or whatever it is you want to apply. And then when you put it, obviously when you're waxing, right? That's a That's a different thing. People look forward to it, you know? I definitely see it. It is tiring though, but I definitely kind of see the satisfaction out of it. But for me, I think that will definitely be not one of my favorite parts. No offense. I wonder if you can see me on camera. Let me see what side I am. Okay, that side of the screen, but anyway. I know the camera's like way over there and all that stuff, but I just thought I'd insert my thoughts into here. So I'm just kind of jabber jabbering at this point. This is kind of like a wash and talk kind of thing, you know? Because I am cleaning off all the remaining residue left by. Um, any sort of polish or compound, the one step, right? With um, 3D1. I'm thinking uh, once I run out of that stuff, I'm probably going to jump over to um, the gold standard spray or whatever you call it, the, um, the polish spray from DIY. Because it looks really cool. Like the appeal of it and the, uh, the convenience, quote unquote. It does sound uh, really convenient. And from what I'm able to see, it works quite well, you know, for um, even like a one step. And apparently it doesn't uh, leave any residue behind, thus eliminating the need for um, any panel prep, but I, I, I would just do it anyway, just to make sure you get everything off before you um, 
apply your favorite protection at that, but that's just my opinion. Do do do, but yeah, it's random thoughts. I wonder what's like the next best thing, right? What's going to be the new thing, you know? Is there going to be a new form of washing, right? It would be pretty interesting to like kind of see how that uh, unfolds. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. So uh, now you can see right here. So I have DIY details, um, uh, eight year coating. And we're at that point, so <laughs> hopefully it won't take too long, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. So, oh wow, it actually has like some dust on it, probably from the packaging, I would say. It looks like something from uh, all the, uh, the compound slash or the one step um like dusting or whatever but i'm just gonna go ahead and shake it and then i believe uh how you use this essentially yeah, there's no uh actually there's no instructions on the box but i've seen enough videos of what you're supposed to do with it so Hopefully, I can get this right here. So let's just uh, focus on the hood on the for the video, sake of the video. So now I'm going to do a couple of drops right here to prime it. I got my gloves on, so. Ooh, this stuff smells, okay. Okay, so let's just uh, spread it across. Kind of squeaky. I'm just spraying it around. Mostly circular motions, but I'm trying to make a box here. And hopefully at some point we'll be able to see the rainbowing effect take place here. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. Spread it across. Oh, I already see the rainbow effect, but I'm gonna keep spreading it. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll uh, start doing the, this part of the bumper. I 
I know I keep touching and stuff, but okay. I'm gonna leave it alone for a little bit. I did see at some point, like it started to do the rainbow effect, but yeah, it's definitely been five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping it off or uh, level it, see if it's grabby or not. Uh, doesn't feel like it's grabby. Grab it on that side. This side's um, fine. This one's, this side is good. Okay, now I think everything is ready to be leveled. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep Leveling it. Which also means that side should be, um, that panel should be ready to go. Along with this part too, can't forget. Okay. And I'm gonna, um, okay. I almost grabbed my panel prep towel. <laughs> okay. This guy is what we're looking for. Okay, all right. Slickness. Is already starting to take place here. At least I feel it like it is. So uh, I feel like we're <laughs> getting somewhere. But boy, that gloss is already coming through, it seems like. Let me see if I can find anything funny with the um, scan light here. If there's any like high spots or anything like that. No. Maybe right there. Uh, all right. I think we're fine. Okay, so now we can get this one off. I think the slickness is starting to come through with this one too. Okay. Question is, where did I leave my bottle? <laughs> oh, it's over there. It's on the washing machine. All right, so, so far so good, I guess anyway. So with that, um, because we're gonna be off the camera at this point and I have no room on the uh, GoPro anymore, uh, you kind of get the gist of it. So we can uh, definitely go on from here without the camera recording, unfortunately. And um, that's all there is to it. So um, that's pretty much it. This is uh, the ceramic coating for right now. And uh, I'll let you, uh, I'll come back uh, once we're done. Well, I uh, think I'm done. <laughs> so it took me about, uh, I want to say two hours of um, 
applying and then like thinking I'm I forgot this certain spot or something, so I just went over that spot again or something. So might have, some of them may have double layers. So, but we got it on there so, uh, nonetheless. Um, we even got it on the glass and we even uh, got it on the wheels as well, or I got it on the wheels. <laughs> and then uh, lastly, I pretty much um, put it on the uh, headlights and everything and the rear and uh, I, I even like made sure I got some of the little intricate areas of the headlights, you know, just to make sure. Um, so yeah, um, emblem and all that stuff, even the bottom lip and everything, of course, you know. So all those areas one can think of, I got them. So the actual process of itself seemed easy. I just hope that I actually did it right. Um, I actually never saw a prominent rainbow effect. Maybe it might have been like really faint because, um, you know, I did shake the bottle and stuff like that. So, um, and I did feel with the towel and stuff like that. So I felt like the slickness and stuff like that. So I definitely do think it's working. So I'm going to give it some time to, you know, sort of like do its thing on the car, you know, give it a week, right? At, most and then uh we'll go from there i mean i I'm, i wash my car bi-weekly so um it won't be till two weeks till i you know touch the car anyway uh in terms of cleaning anyway uh i'll try to remember not to uh like you know clean off any bird poo and like that because i don't i don't think you're supposed to like put any chemicals on there for that whole week um you know just some minor moisture like water or something like that from the rain or whatever should be fine if it does rain but uh yeah so um we'll have to wait and see uh i i know it's not the best way to look at this i know the camera angle of itself is not the best but um let me I'd actually go ahead at this point um and dismount the camera here so you kind of get an idea. I can't zoom out. This is, a, this is the kind of lens I can does not zoom out. We kind of get an idea of how glossy it is already. You kind of see with the light, uh, sort of. So, uh, but I was really happy when you know during the polishing process, I was able to get all of that nasty water spotting off. So, uh, at least on the paint anyway, it was really hard to get it off the glass. Like you know, a lot of people say anyway. So it's pretty consistent there. Uh, so. Uh, essentially, I can only wait and see if I did it right. Um, again, I did it on the paint, of course. I did it on the glass. And then um, uh, the wheels, even. So uh, mirrors and all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we did it, guys, I guess. It's really a matter of um, to, uh, seeing how uh, long it endures and just ma uh, maintain it. So um, I know coatings, like, clog up and stuff like that. So I have to, like loosen up with some like d-scale or um some sort of like uh, system that uh, certain car detailing companies offer um you know labo cosmetica i know offers one car pro offers a system of sorts uh we'll figure it out so um i already do have car pro reset so it probably is a good like maintenance soap for this now especially so i'll definitely like go ahead and do that um at least here and there and yeah so again we'll go from there so pretty happy with initially uh i already am feeling the slickness with just the t like the towel alone but uh i'll let it just you know again i'll let it do its thing man so that's all we can do so thank you very much i mean i, I know this is not the best uh way to present my journey on <laughs> you know this whole thing with uh um ceramic coating all that stuff but nonetheless though i showed something with each step so that's something so that's uh, how i'm going to do it and yeah so i'm um, pretty happy with it initially already so yeah all right that's all i got thank you very much if you have any comments let me down below don't forget to like subscribe it really helps out and i do appreciate it so Again, we'll have to uh, wait and see how this uh, coating performs, man. The DIY detail, um, eight-year coating. We're going to have to wait and see. So, Alrighty. Here goes um, the ceramic coating. That, that, you know, I am now 
um, uh, not ever, uh, my cherry hasn't popped when it comes to ceramic coating. So there you go. Thank you very much. Hope to see you all in the next one. Join out.